Hello traders, John at stockbookie.com. Today we're just going to look at the SPY. You know, I, I, I really didn't, let me move this in here. You know, I just, I'm just looking at this since Friday. You know, I'm going to look at it tomorrow after, uh, after tomorrow's market. I, I just need more, um, more technicals on the charts. You know, we had, we had bullish consolidation, bullish consolidation. We talked about these patterns fail up here at all time highs, which they do, they do very often. You better look out when we get an outside bar like this that just wiped out two months of gains on 221 million shares. That is some ugly, ugly selling. And, you know, let me let me look at a couple other things here. Oh, we have to fit from here to here. So we have so we have an area around 211 in here. We also do have a gap fill down. Sorry about that. Jeez, hello. Hello, bookie. All right, right there we have a gap fill. We have the gap fill down in here as well. So, you know, what I'm looking for personally, I'm looking for another heavy volume day, and I'm looking for more selling. If we do get into the 212.67 uh, area, I believe we could possibly bounce. You're going to know if we have light volume, Yellen and whoever else wants these markets up, they are going to push. We need to get above this area, especially the 214.40 area first. And they're going to try to recapture this 50 MA. I mean, they're going to give it all they got. I mean, look at the Brexit. Boom, straight up, nothing for months. And now we're getting selling again. And they're blaming it on the uh, interest rate hike or whatever the hell they're blaming it on, which is just more crap. But personally, we're, we were way overdue for this. And these are the, you know, we always talk about this too. The uh, staircase up and the elevator down. And they, like I said, this is why I short these markets. And I'll go long. There'll be time to go long. But right now, I mean, two months of doing nothing, and in one day we get this huge move. I mean, come on. Uh, as a short, as a guy who shorts and goes long, you got to capture these moves as a trader. Weekly charts. Weekly chart even, I mean, this is just ugly. I mean, we came right to this lower bar. We do have the... Uh, the gap fill here and we have the 20 ma coming up if this thing starts going i mean i man if we get another week of this we're going right here 205 and then double bottom again 200 hour 198 69 area then you have another big trend line this this is that's one for me that goes way back there and this we never confirmed below it, it, actually no we did confirm here they had to push it up came back retrace inside bar popped it up Boom, coming right back in. So you have to keep track of these charts, in my opinion. Let's stick a fib in here. Let's see where it stops. See if it, we have had that one on the daily too. Yeah, so 211, 209, 206.75, 204. And these are all fibs. And ultimately, if it really starts to dump, I mean, look at that. One day, one or one week, we could end up here around the 206 next week. And then ultimately, if we get a three bar surge on the weekly, you're looking at 200. 200, I would buy. The markets completely break down. These things are just going to keep going lower. I mean, the SPY is one of the most important ETFs you can follow out there. I mean, even this one. This is the monthly. Monthly chart, we still have a couple weeks. But, man, I mean, if this thing reverses, it comes back in. It closes at the 20 MA down at 206, 205. We're in, we're in trouble. I mean, we could definitely come easily come back down into the uh, 198, 200 area. Just... Long, if you're long in these markets, just be careful. If this thing comes in, let, let it come in. Don't, you know what? Let it come as low as you can to, to rebuy it if you're a buy the dipper. But I keep telling you, one day you're going to buy the dip, 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 and all of a sudden you're going to be wiped out with margin calls and you're going to have to sell. So just be careful in these light volume environments. You get a 220 sell day, man. That is, that's epic. But you know what? If we get a light volume, they could push this thing right up. You know what? Let me do this. Let me stick a fib in here. Sorry about that. I got my chart over there. But I'm going to follow the low right here on this one just to see. We're going to come to the top here. So if this thing pushes up, we're looking for a retrace. 382s at 215. The uh, 21621 to 50. And ultimately the 618, which I love, is at 216.92. You know, I mean, that would be a great retrace inside bar, and then boom, they're going to slam it again, in my opinion. Again, if you're long, just be really, really careful because this thing can, this thing, this thing can dump. I mean, look at this. I mean, we're up, we chopped around, up again. Typical, typical stuff. 
up, down, up, and like, like this one, up, down, up, down, up, down for months, and then slam. Comes back in, slams it again, right up, chop, 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 slam, slam. Oh, and then a little down move up. I'm thinking it's 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 due right now for another good slam job, <laughs> in, in my opinion. But look at these markets, guys. You know, if you don't follow charts, here's your dot com right in here. Here's your here's your uh, housing crash. Goes right back down, almost in the double bottom down in here. Comes back up. Come you know QE one, QE two, QE three. I just have a hard time with these markets being up this high. I, I just I don't see any evidence other than stock buybacks, manipulation by the Fed, uh, controlling the dollar. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't even know. Just, just just so much stuff. I mean, look at that move. Come on. I mean, you can see it on the monthly a little bit better. It's just typical stuff. Goes right to the top, chops around, chops around, makes a new high, and then bomb, then bombs. Comes into the highs, chops around, chops around, makes a new high, bombs. Then this one up, 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 chop, chop. Makes a new high, and then boom. So you have to look at that. We're just in that time frame where this can happen. And if you are long, like I said, just be very, very careful. And if you are long, you want to get above the 220 area again with confirmation. This could possibly continue higher. If we get continuation to the downside, we are definitely going to the 205, the 200, and then we'll play it from there, watching pattern on the weekly and the daily. And we do a lot of intraday stuff as well, some scalping and some short-term day trades, like a couple days. Sometimes we'll go a week, and then we'll do swing trades as well. But, all right, guys, that's a spy. That's what I'm looking at. If you're long, just be careful. Don't, don't get wiped out. So next thing you know, another big red bar right to this 200 moving average, 206. We fill the gap. We fill the gap. And then it could bounce. But if we get below the 200, wow. I, I, I'm still in awe with this one. 221 million after, after 50 million, 60 million, 40 million. Then boom, 220, and it dumps. I want to see 220 going up. Until then, if this market's going down. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching my videos. God bless. See you on the charts.